I cannot specifically say what you could do or say, but the most important thing is that you don't react to the unconsciousness in the other. If you, are re if you react, you are being drawn into unconsciousness. And the same level as the person you're reacting to. So, that, so in other words, you become what you are fighting against. <laughs> and this is not uncommon. There are, there are ways in which you fight against unconscious people, or people, they might do things that look evil, but of course it arises out of unconsciousness. And the fight, without you knowing it, gradually you are at the same level as, as those people. So that's very, can happen very easily. So, to be intensely present is so that your state of consciousness is one of intense presence as you look around the room. So in intense presence, there's no, there's no reaction. And you see everything for what it is. You don't personalize the unconscious behavior of another person. You don't say, what a dreadful person that is. No, it's not a dreadful person. It's just human unconsciousness in action. A manifestation of the current evolutionary stage of the majority of humans. That's all, nothing personal about it. A manifestation of the current evolutionary stage of most humans' consciousness. Nothing personal about it. Oh, well that makes it perhaps a little easier. But you don't have to tell yourself even that in order to be present. You just, you're just present and you feel, go into the body so that every cell of the body is alive with presence and you feel the, the aliveness in every cell of the body. Because otherwise the, the body and the emotion that lives in the body will react to, to this person's emotion. It will come from there if it doesn't come from the mind. Be in the body, the body is your anchor for presence and there you are as a point of presence in this room and whether or not you say something or what you say or what action you take I don't know because it can only come out of presence or whether you say anything at all or whether you just totally ignore this level of discourse that the other person is involved in and just continue presenting the situation what we need to look at in some cases you completely ignore, in other cases you might address this person and speak to the sanity that's hiding somewhere underneath the insanity. You might address that, that might work. You don't know, but you will know what the right thing to do is, or if there's anything to do in that situation. But it's vital to, to be absolutely present, especially in the conscious, in the presence, in, of very unconscious people, sounds a little contradictory. I'm using presence in another sense. When you are, when very unconscious people are around you, then it's extremely important to be highly present so that you don't get drawn in. And then something can happen, the situation can change. And so you represent a different level of consciousness there. <laughs>